it's August 31st and uh, I'm back out checking some of these frames and super honey supers to see maybe I can get a little bit more honey let them settle down a little bit I'll just pull a couple frames here and see what this box looks like. Looks like they're still doing a lot of work on this one. So that frame has got nectar in it. Has not they have not capped that frame yet. So we definitely would not be harvesting from this box this year. from that frame anyway. Let's check some other frames out here. So this box will not be harvested this year. We'll close this one. Take this off the top and see what's underneath it here. Uh, this one shows a little bit of promise. Let's see what some of these frames look like. All right, that frame's got a little bit of capped honey. They're still filling that one. Check a couple more of these out here. All right, that's all capped honey there. Probably about 90% of that frame. There's a full frame of honey on the back side. That's what we're looking for, is that capped honey. Another good frame there. All right, I think I'm going to pull this box off, bring it to the top, put a bee escape under it. <clears throat> Take like that Some good honey frames on this one. Another one that's ready to to harvest. All 
Alright, so one, two, three, four. All right, kids. I'm gonna have to put my gloves on here shortly. Okay, the girls were getting a little anxious, so three stings was enough on those hands. Put my gloves on. They don't like when you come in and take their honey. Six, seven. So this medium honey super I'll pull out mid-September and probably get six or seven frames of honey out of this one. The top one, I won't get any honey frames. I'll just let them continue to draw the comb out and then uh, reset that one for next year. All right, let's check out hive number two, this deep honey super here. All right, so box number, hive number one, I'll get six, seven frames out of this honey, medium super. Hive number two, I won't get anything this year. So we'll let that one just go, and then I'll just pull the box off and winterize the two, the two brood boxes. All right, let's look at number three here. Last time I was in here, I said there were seven, about seven frames in this lower deep honey super. Come on, what you got going on here? Here we go. This is one of my stronger hives. Yeah, they're still building comb on this one. There's not any honey on this box here. All right, let's check this one out here. Well, I'm gonna open the honey on this one. Yep. It's a good honey frame right there. That one is ready to harvest. Okay, this looks like a good box here. All capped honey. Real good here. Another good honey frame. And they're still capping that. There's still nectar down there in that lower corner. There's still a little bit of work on this frame. Yep. Still capping some nectar down in that lower corner here by my thumb. Got a good frame of honey there. And backsides, 
probably about 75% capped. And still some nectar that's uncapped there. get to the center here I'll see less and less capped honey and more nectar. I'll do the outsides and work the way in. Still capping, you can see we got all these cells down here. They're getting full and then they'll cap them and turn it into honey. They're still building comb down here also. Same on this side. Building the comb out here and slowly capping whatever they can find this late in the season. Mid-September, I'll come back, pull these frames. So when I pull the frames mid-September, end of September, I'll also start my winterization for the colonies. I'll put some mite treatment strips in here on the brood chambers and then when I pull all the honey supers off I'll put some feed buckets on top so that they can continue to get their stores and get some food all right so mid-september into September I'll come back pull frames from this one and that lower medium there a little bit of honey left. Okay, this is one of my weaker hives here. I'm not expecting much on this one. Still building a comb on this one also. So this will be a next year also. Okay, number five. This one this one actually started uh, last year. Came through the winter. So in the seven years I've been keeping the bees here on the property. I've had two colonies that have made it through the winter. One about three years ago, and then this one here. Uh, this one might be some frames in here. Oh, I might actually have some honey frames here. 
Absolutely. Okay, so there's building a comb. We won't get any honey in this one this year, but the comb is built out. So that'll be a good frame for next year. Starting to fill some honey up on that one. A little bit of nectar in those cells. And that side, still building a cone. It looks like they're filling nectar in this area here. No honey on that frame. That one's filling out nicely. I don't think there's enough nectar and pollen flow right now this late in the season. To... I haven't seen the goldenrod close by. They're going to find it if it's out there. This field of corn in front of me used to be all goldenrod about three years ago. And the farmer decided to put some corn in here. If the bees will find it, goldenrod's out there, they'll find it. That one's getting ready to be capped. Some good frames in here. This will be another mid to late September pull and maybe get a couple more frames out of this one. to do yet. All right, we'll button this one back up. It looks like that lower medium super here. We'll get some frames from that in mid to late September. So the hive in the far right, the nearest colony, the nearest hive here. Again, that one the third one down and the last one come back mid to late September so I'll pull all the honey supers off and all five of them and winterize the two lower brood boxes and then any frames that are available for that are capped will harvest that honey so we may get another 8 to 12 gallons of honey from the frames that are in these boxes here uh, but I still have the, uh, the two deeps and the two mediums that are up in the barn. I'll harvest that honey later this week. You'll see that video. And then I'll come back mid-September, late September, pull these top honey supers, and then start the mite treatment for the, the lower brood boxes on these five colonies. So it'll be a good year for honey, and we'll see how we make it through the winter.